Happy New Year guys! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm really really excited to do this video and um, I had to do that grand entrance and not the other one you're used to because we have a rack. It's quite sparse but we have a rack. There is a rack to display everything all nice and whatnot. If you didn't know already, this is the China Ida sewing space where we learn to style the wardrobe of our dreams. And this is the styling. I would like to say this is the styling part of the video. It's also my makes from 2021. If you are wondering why they're so sparse, check out the other video. I explained that already. I moved cities. I moved twice. I moved cities and I moved twice. Anyways, so um, because of that, there was the whole space and setup challenge going on. So these are the only things that I could make for the year. There are how many tutorials? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven tutorials out of the eight things that I made right so i was like thinking about you guys bang 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 tutorial 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 and um yeah there's some hits and misses in there stick all the way to the end to find out which is my favorite make which was the fastest which was hell on earth well not hell on earth it just required a lot of sewing and stuff like that so without much talking let's get on and i've arranged them in order so we have the skirts tops outerwear a lot of outerwear for me this year hmm is that does that mean we're going to enter jackets this year i don't know but uh, yeah so outerwear and just the one dress and just the one skirt which if you know this channel and you know me that's like that is like outrageous like I'm usually all about the skirts all about the skirts and um, I'd like to say even though they're they're like not much mix I like to say that they're interesting you know mix that you would want to make like like look at this look at this we're, we're gonna get into this but yeah so they're like they're interesting to me that was that was what was on my mind this year I was like something interesting and impactful in my sewing so that I mean why else do we sew really okay so first off is this it is a half circle skirt mm. make sure you guys are seeing it it's a half circle midi skirt with side seam pockets right and just one zipper at the back sorry it won't stay on the hanger and a waistband and i loved the whole lining situation i really really enjoyed making the skirt i enjoy a good circle skirt like i feel circle skirts just make any woman any shape any size look beautiful and wonderful and luckily for you guys there's a tutorial on this skirt on the channel okay so um yeah not much to say about it i've loved it i've worn it received a lot of compliments check out the tutorial my next make is um first of all the fabric is a cotton jersey this fabric is just like an ankara cotton fabric this is a cotton jersey fabric that i got from minerva and this again you see like it has this ruching detail in front and uh yeah i copied a uh, veronica beard design was very simple so I decided to copy and if you look like it's such a beautiful fabric yellow is like my favorite color it's not like it is my favorite color next to orange like those two fight every now and then but yellow usually comes up trumps yeah so 
what can I say? Easy make, very fast. There is a tutorial on the channel for it as well. And yeah, just no lining, no nothing. Just straight and easy. Exactly the way we like it. Oh, I forget. Um, since I made the top, I realized that uh, Berda has come out with a sewing pattern just like this, except that the, the ruching doesn't go straight down. It goes across this way. But it's the same thing. I'm even intending on making that as well. Like, I intend to get some more cotton jersey fabrics and making this. So I will try and put up the, the picture of the Berda style pattern because I tried checking for it online so I could put a link for you guys. But I didn't see anything online. So I'm thinking it's the actual magazine. So maybe you need a subscription for it or something. I don't know. But yeah, I was pleased to see that there was now a tutorial, like a sewing pattern for that. Then the next top is uh, something that I saw and liked on, um, I saw it on one of my favorite style YouTube channels and the lady wore this top with this whole asymmetric neckline something. So I was like, you know what, I sew, I'm going to make that. So I did, it was the last make of the year for 2021 and yeah it looks simple and easy and straightforward but like when you put it on you see the whole detail going on because it's got raglan sleeves you know like ra full raglan this way and some other things going on the back is straightforward yeah okay now this other make sorry so <laughs> sorry so rumpled is another fabric i got from minerva this is a slob i think it's a lady mcelroy slob crepe very very lovely fabric feels so good to the touch very drapey as you can see so um again i saw something online and i decided i wanted it so i was gonna make it which is what we so always do so um the back has just got an invisible zipper with uh darts the front has got princess darts and this whole keyhole detail thing going on i don't know if you can see it there right it's got a let me put my hand inside so you can it's got a whole keyhole detail thing going on right there. So, and it's got this frills on the arm side and a peplum. So I did line it on the inside because it's, it's quite flimsy. So I lined it on the inside with some white cotton. And yeah, this is like literally the only make that didn't have, that doesn't have a tutorial. Well, what can I say? You win some, you lose some. Okay okay i'm really happy this is like my second video of the day and this usually doesn't happen to me like i struggle to make videos <laughs> i struggle to make videos uh so two videos in one day i'm like i'm feeling like i've conquered something um oh sorry i need to go back this skirt is part of my ankara collection piece and I will put up a video for you guys so that you can see it. So that you can see the whole collection and see where I'm at and stuff like that. Okay, back to outerwear number one. This make is part of my first uh, sewing collection that I decided I was going to make. It's just um, a waterfall jacket um yeah nothing much bust that and some shaping but yeah um and around around about this time i was making it i got my sewing labels 
so I put them on feeling very very legit myself so yeah another quick easy make and killed um, not kill well literally not kill I finished one of my one of my makes for my fashion collection and I was happy with that yeah now this one is another outerwear it wasn't uh, part of my it's not part of any fashion collection but i really enjoyed making this this was a collab endeavor with the famous the very famous juliet uzo uh british sewing bee winner i will put up the video for you guys basically we were to make something with just one yard of fabric uh, I cheated like a tiny 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 bit it's like a yard not up to a yard and a half like a yard and a quarter because I wanted sleeves so yes it is uh, I installed the separating zipper there is a tutorial for this on the channel for you guys I will link it um, yeah it's just a, like a crop style there's a dart here there's a dart here the back has that just for shaping and yeah we like we like okay now for the well I don't know this is another make from my Ankara collection that I wanted to make and I finally did it is a kimono right but not just your average kimono okay i decided to do a bucket style kimono and if you don't understand what the bucket style is please do check on the channel there's a tutorial for you guys and yeah i decided to make myself a bucket style kimono I've been dying to mix Ankara prints and stripes. It's a whole thing in Nigeria, like a whole sewing fashion trend thing that I really loved and I'm glad I took part in it with this. And um, there's a whole story on the channel about this, how this happened. <laughs> because I'd used um, another part of the fabric to make something else. So yeah, the back also has that bucket style thing going on and yeah it's a, a make that actually i love a lot now for the one and only dress on the channel this is a make from my oof, my hands are getting tired this is a piece from my first fashion collection again it's um a, i think it's a design from carolina herrera and there's actually a sewing pattern for it i will put that up in the cards also i will link to the tutorial for you guys so yeah i tried i really tried pattern matching for the front as best i could and i think it works with the whole tops there's actually top stitching on the front i don't know if you guys can see see the stop stitching in front and yeah it's just um a railroad zipper at the back some more pattern thing going on at the back but it's a very very lovely dress and i'm so happy that i took this off my wish list basically okay now to tell you guys my best and my worst makes and stuff so um my best make let's start with the worst my absolute worst make for the year is this top and it's so crazy because the top like i'm it's it's nice it's a nice top it's properly made it's just that I, for whatever reason, I, I made a mistake on the waist of the front. So, 
hella tight across the bust hella hella tight it's so tight and because of that i don't wear the top i don't feel comfortable wearing the top so this is the mm, for me um yeah but uh, it's a nice top maybe i can walk up the courage to give it to someone else because i love the fabric i love everything about it but it's just not making me happy let's say that it's just not making me happy so yeah and it's i feel like i wasted the fabric but yeah that's it now the easiest make of the year for me um i feel like it's a tie <laughs> it's a tie between this and this okay so this was a very straightforward make just basically a t-shirt this is that's what this is it's a t-shirt and i put elastic right down the middle and this was lovely because it doesn't require any fitting no buttons no zips you know it is just i did piping the only thing that's difficult about this is that i had to iron out piping to finish off the raw edges and based on that i'll say this is the easiest but yeah both of them were easy and bre easy breezy so, so i wonder if if this <laughs> I wonder if I could wear this and this in there. I don't know, maybe it's too colorful. But it's an idea, it's an idea. Okay, keep this. Now my, my absolute favorite make will have to be this. And it's an outer wear, but I absolutely, absolutely spent days, months dreaming about making this mixing Ankara with striped fabric. You know, I love the top stitching detail in contrasting thread. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? Top stitching detail contrasting thread and yeah i absolutely love it will i make it again i don't know <laughs> because it took like it it took a while all this takes time top stitching folding this you know it takes time so maybe if i have time i will make it again okay okay now my most complicated and toughest make of the year will have to be this top boy oh boy and i know you're looking at it thinking oh this this nice innocent looking top <laughs> and i actually thought it was going to be easy for me to make because i love raglan sleeves the like sleeves are my ultimate nemesis so i would do almost anything to get away from <laughs> from sewing a, a sleeve so i i was looking forward to making this thinking oh my friend the raglan sleeve yeah let's do that well you see this whole place this whole thing going on here this asymmetric side here was a nightmare for me to figure out how to sew don't worry you guys i mean this is why i'm making the tutorial so that i i do the suffering and you guys just benefit from my suffering but um yeah it's it was a nightmare to figure out but i figured it out and i sewed it okay okay so guys i am happy that i have brought all this makes to you guys i really hope you enjoyed i mean i'm like look at it doesn't i mean i mean it's it's a nice bunch it's a really really nice bunch so tell me your favorite tell me your least favorite uh tell me anything you want to tell me about the collection 
hopefully i have a new sewing machine now so i have like two sewing machines that i actually want to be sewing on so i will hopefully be sewing more in the new year but yeah this is it for for the year 2021 these are my makes and i wore them a bunch so it's not like i made and i didn't wear i mean the only one i didn't wear was this because of the nightmare it turned out to be hopefully you guys sticked around to the end i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it i enjoyed looking back and assessing my makes with you guys so if you have any tutorials you like me to to start for you guys you can let me know about that i will have a video on a video or a vlog of, of me cleaning and reviewing my new sewing machine i hope you guys will enjoy that and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace